So now we are going to see the second sum that is B sum. So 13 into 70. You know that very well. So first you must multiply the first what? Generally we have to multiply the you must see the numbers first. 13 into 70. 70 means 7 tens. 7 into 7. Sorry, 7 into 10. So 13 into 70. 13. 1, 3, 13. 7 into 10. What? Sorry. Sorry. 7 into 10. 17. You know that very well. 13 into 70. You are going to multiply. 17 means 7, 0. Okay. 7, 0. So uh, tens means that is 7 into 10 only. You can get 70. Otherwise, we can call it as 7 tens. Okay. That is uh, here, the tens means you know that very well, only one zero come. First, you must consider the zero always. So, what is the, how many zeros here? Tens, you are going to multiply by tens. So, how many zeros here? Only one zero. So, you must write the zero at the end. Then, you have to multiply the remaining number. That is a rule. That is a first rule. Otherwise, you do one thing. First, you have to multiply. Second rule, you have to multiply the number first. Then, you must add the zero at the end. First, count how many zero. Then, you must add the zero at the end end i'll repeat once again see first you must multiply by 10 means you must see you know that very well you must see the zeros and you know that 10 means is that what is a one zero ten or seven zero ten means seven zero means what 70 that is otherwise we can call it as seven tens so 10 means you know that very well only one zero so you must what consider the zero and you must write the zero at the end first then you must multiply the remaining numbers this is a rule one uh, if you want to follow the rule two first you have to multiply the numbers then you have to check the zero how many zero 10 means only one zero so you must write the zero at the end after the number you must write the zero at the end that's the second rule so which is your convenient you can follow that method so i have written the zero so i am going to do the normal method also so 3, 13 into 7. 13 into 7, you know that very well. So, I know the table very well. So, 91. That means answer is 910. This is the right answer. Otherwise, you can do the normal method. So, 3, 0, 0. And 1, 0, 0. And 7 into 3. So, the ones place, you must 0. So, already once you have to multiply. So, 3, 0, 0. And 1, 0, 0. So, and 7 you are going to multiply. That is, uh, 7 is a tens place. So in the ones place you must what uh, you must uh, what you must write zero because now I am going to multiply by ten that is the reason I must put zero in the ones place so seven threes are twenty one you know this seven ones are seven seven twos are fourteen seven threes are twenty one so I must write twenty ones so twenty one means one ones and two tens that is that is twenty ones right then to one that is here that is. 2 1 that is 2 uh, the 21 means you know that very well this is uh, what is this uh, 21 right uh, that means 1 you have to write in the this is 1s and 10s but anyhow you are going to how we are going to say this because 1 10s and 2 hundreds that is what you are going to say so you must if you write 21 tens, this is called as 21 tens because you are going to multiply by 7 tens. okay so 7 tenths is going to multiply by 3. So 7 into 3 you can get 21. This is not, uh, this is 21 means 21 tenths. So this is 110 and 200. First I said, sorry, I've, I've, I've said wrong. So 21, that is 21 tenths. That is 1 tenths and 200. This 1 tenths you have to write in the what tens place. The remaining 2 you have to write it on the top. 1 7 is a 7, 7 plus 2 what 9. You must write 9 here. So 0 then. So what are you going to write? 0 and 1 and 9. So 1 stands and 100. And the answer is 910. That is 910. 910. That is what I have written already. So this is simple method and this is a normal method. So first you have to what? Just you have to multiply 13 into 70 means what you are going to do? First, the rule for one is you just uh, multi if you multiply by 10 means you have to see you know, how many zeros are here because you are going to multiply by 10 means you know that very well only one zero. So you have to write the zero at the end then the remaining numbers you have to multiply. So 13 into 7 you must say the seventh table it is easy for you. So seventh table up to 13 you have to say the answer is 91. So what is this 910 is the right answer 910 sorry 910 that is 900 110 and 0 once this is the right answer 910 that is 9 910
this is a right answer so this normal method you know that 13 into 70 so first you have to multiply by 0 so 0 is going to multiply by what 13 means you must know that variable you 13 into 0 any number is multiplied by 0 you know that variable is 0 see so, no need to write two zeros better you write only one zero is sufficient but anyhow it's a normal method that is what I, I can teach this method also so 0 into 3 0 and 0 into 1 0 then what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply by 7 tenths into 13 so in the ones place you must what you must write 0 because you are not going to what write in the ones place so ones place I must put 0 because if you want to add means you do if you want to add means if you don't write what 0 in the particular that means 0 in the ones place suppose you are going to add means you will get confused you will get confused sorry you will get confused that is the only reason in the ones place I have to sorry I have written 0 so now I am going to multiply by 10 so 7 into 3 7 3s are 21 so that is 21 means that is called as 21 tens that is 1 10 and 2 hundreds that is a right method so 1 tens I have written in the ones place sorry 1 tens I have written in the what tens place so 1 10 I have written in the what tens place the remaining 2 this remaining 2 is go to the 100 place so 1 7 7 7 plus 2 9 so 0 0 plus 0 0 and 0 plus 1 1 and 9 the answer is 9 1 0 that is answer is 910 this is right method right answer also now we are going to see the fill in the blanks so 8 into 100 you know that how many zeros in 100 two zeros so you have to write 2 0 2 0 at the end sorry 2 zeros 2 0 at the end so at remaining numbers 1 into 8 8 the answer is 800 the answer is 800 next so 100 into 21 so in 100 means you know that very well two zeros so you must write the two zeros at the end the remaining number 1 into 21 so any number is multiplied by 1 you know that you can get the same number so what you will do you must write 21 21 is a right answer for this question next so 100 into dash so as we dash into 100 the answer is 75 in 75 double zero that is 7500 so you have to write 75 here 75 into 100 so what is the number 75 i'm going to multiply 100 you can get this answer 75 double zero so that means 7500 so 75 you have to write and double zeros you must what add as it is at the end because you're going to multiply by what you're going to multiply by 100 100 means you know that variable two zeros you must write the two zeros at the end then the remaining number one into 75 you can get 75 so that is the answer is 75 in this blank you have to write 75 in the blank this is a right answer for that question then again 100 is going to multiply by what this is the blank you have to fill up the blank the answer is 17 and double zeros 1700 so double zeros you must write the double zero at the end the remaining number is one into some number you have to write you must write a particular number that means in that particular place 17 so 17 into 1 you can get 17 then as it is double zero at the end so 1700 is the right answer otherwise you can do one thing 75 double zero that means 7500 the number is 100 is go if you divide 7500 is divided by what 7500 is divided by 100 you can cancel these two zeros 75 divided by 1 you can get 75 so this is also one method this is the division method okay you, you can choose any one method and you can do that another one next one is here the answer is 1700 is going to divide by because 7000 so 1700 this is the answer you have to find out the question so in the middle number is 100 so 1700 1700 is going to divided by 100 that means you have to cancel these two zeros 17 divided by 1 17 divided by 1 you can get what 17 17 is the right answer so you can choose any one method you can fill in the blank. I think so you understand all the concepts very clearly.